The Move tool is actually several tools combined into one. Many SketchUp users don't realize that the Move tool is also the Auto Fold tool and an Array tool as well. For this video, however, we will not cover Auto Fold and Arrays, as there are other specific videos on those topics. This video will cover the fundamentals of moving objects using the Move tool. The Move tool is an Auto Select tool. This means as you hover the cursor over edges and surfaces, they become highlighted, letting you select them. This only works, however, if nothing else is pre-selected. When you select an object, it becomes a single focus of the Move tool. If you want to get back to Auto Select mode, right or context click in any blank area of the screen. This will clear any selection you have, letting you auto select and move edges, surfaces, endpoints, or groups. Auto selecting is handy, but usually you will pre select the object you need to move. You can pre select a single entity or many objects together to move them. When moving, you need to think about points in 3D space. For example, let's move some furniture around this room, starting with this fridge. Pre-select the fridge, then click on the lower back corner to start moving it. This is one point in 3D space. And place it along the edge of the wall, another point in 3D space. This is a good way to move things exactly by moving from and to corners. Another way to move this is to use the inference directions. Click on the back edge of the fridge and move it in the green direction until it meets the wall. Again, two points in 3D space. Now look at a common problem experienced by all SketchUp users. You start moving the fridge and then it becomes sunk halfway into the floor. What happened? Is SketchUp broken? Not at all. SketchUp is doing exactly what we've asked it to. We started moving the fridge by this point in 3D space. Then, by hovering over the floor, we are moving it to that point in 3D space. This will certainly happen to you, and when it does, just hit the escape key. This will cancel the move, and you can start over picking a more meaningful spot on your object to move by. Always remember that you're picking some point in 3D space, even if you don't click on an object. We can pre-select this lamp and start moving it by clicking on some blank areas of the screen. That blank area was still a point in 3D space, however. So as we move around objects in the scene, you can see it is still moving the lamp relative to that original starting point. In general, this works well when you're looking down from a top view and move the object from one blank area of the screen to another blank area. One of the keys to moving objects well is the ability to select only what you need to move. For this reason, we recommend viewing the video on making good selections to improve your ability to move objects correctly. Also, remember to view the videos on making copies and arrays and the video on auto folding to fully understand the full capabilities of the move tool.